affordable smartwatches, every each of them with its own special story to tell. This time they will be told about the Blaze Blitz. By any means, don't get confused with Blitz. It is not a fashion watch. It is oriented for casual wearing or people who are in sports. But what really is the Blaze Blitz? To put it in simple words, Blitz is a smartphone on your wrist. It is using Mediatek's MTK6580 chipset with 512 megabits of RAM and 4 gigabits of ROM. It is running Android 5.1, heavily customized for smartwatch experience. And yes, it supports micro SIM card, which enables option to be a standalone device, which doesn't need to be connected to your phone or Bluetooth. Build quality of device is solid. External casing is made of hard plastic, which feels excellent on touch. Wrist is made of soft plastic, and it also feels excellent. Speakerphone and microphone are present, and they perform surprisingly good. Sound from speakerphone is loud and clear, considering that this is a smartwatch. People from my conversations reported that they can hear me well, so I guess that microphone is also good. Voice calling works good, but its usability should be reconsidered, because everybody will hear what you speak and what other side is speaking to you. On the right, we see a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera. Quality of photos and videos can be seen on samples provided. Personally, I don't see any serious use of camera like this, but for fun, it is okay. Watch have only one button and feedback from it is really good. Back is covered with metal cover. Heart rate sensor is visible with pins for charging. If we remove a four screws with provided screwdriver, we can uncover a SIM card slot. Considering that watch is advertised as waterproof with IP67 certified, four screws aren't big deal for me to be removed. When we look from the front, we see a main star of the Blitz. It is 1.33 inch circular shape display with resolution of 330 by 330 pixels. Screen is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Screen highlights are good viewing angles, solid color representation with decent outdoor performance. Overall, I don't have complaints about the screen. One of the key interesting things about the Blaze Blitz is Android experience. I must admit that having complete Android system on wrist is a really good thing. Flexibility which you get is outstanding. Play Store offers immense number of applications for download. And if you want to go even further, you can put custom clock faces, which by default can be done. But I noticed a few downsides, which won't ruin usability, but they are worth to mention. First of all, to be clear, that this is not Android Wear, it is Android 5.1. Some of applications will be hard to use, and on some places it is hard to navigate. Other than this, system works fast and fluid, it rarely shutters or lags, but it can happen here and there. I want to jump on my overall feel about this watch. First of all, it is really well made device, but after some time of using it, I can't say that it is perfect, but I also can't say that it is bad either. Positive things, as mentioned before, are build quality and overall usability. You have two options, to connect smartwatch with your phone and get notifications to watch from phone, or you can use it as standalone device by inserting micro SIM card. Blitz supports 3G network, Wi-Fi and GPS, which makes it really good companion when you want to stay light. Personally, I was using it in this way. When I was on beach, it was practical way to stay connected, but with no need to worry where I left my phone. And what is bad thing? First of them all is battery life. 
you really need to manage what you use. If you turn all connectivity, I will need to disappoint you. Blitz will last you around half of day. If you manage your usage pattern, you can definitely get a full day of usage. But one thing is sure, battery life could be better. Features as motion activated glands work as they should. But that dreaded but. When I got the watch and when I was looking at the screen, I would see a normal watch face as you should expect. But after over the air update, this feature changed in a way that when you look at the watch, you won't see a face you set. Instead, you see this and you can't change this. If you press it, it will show a normal watch face. And this is really disappointing, because having a custom watch faces is losing a point. This is a really bad decision by developers. I managed to contact them and their comment was that they did this to improve battery life. So, this is how it is now, take it or leave it. Watch application was tested on Android smartphone. Recently it got update, so it is completely translated to English language and this was not the case before it was full chinese it works fine and it offers features you need few things i noticed is that steps counter never synchronize but i guess that it will be fixed in future updates conclusion about zeblaze blitz is somewhat mixed bag of feelings in one corner we have affordable smartwatch with a lot of features good build quality and really good price. But in other side there are things which can be a problem for some users. To elaborate this, in video I highlighted, let's call it, a flaws of this watch. And if they won't bother you, then it is a easy decision. Because if we consider strong sides, Zeblaze Blitz can be your faithful companion. If you are interested in Zeblaze Blitz, I did put a link down below in the description box, so you can check it out on Gearbest. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any comment or suggestion, please leave it in the comment box. Also, like, subscribe, and until next time guys, see ya!